today's lunch is sujabi. Mm. I just got back from my tennis lesson and this is a pretty relatively simple meal to make. Probably took me about 20-30 minutes to prepare. You don't have to add the egg in the flour, but I know my mom also adds an egg, so I thought I'd do it too. Sujibi was my favorite dish growing up because my grandma who passed away recently, she would make this for me all the time and I would also help my mom make this in elementary school. With the dough, I would like to make little hearts or like little flowers. Once you cook it, it wouldn't come out in that shape, but it was just fun to help my mom in the kitchen. Mm. I also used kamja sujibi garu, so this is the potato sujibi flour, which is more chewy than the regular flour. In Korea, when you clear a bowl, they always put it above your head like this to prove that you cleared it. All clear! Today's post-meal dessert is a mochi ice cream. This is the matcha green tea boba flavor. It tastes exactly like a matcha boba. Time to take my vitamins. Cheers. Thank you Care Of for collaborating with me on this video. It has my name on it which is super cute and they have these phrases on them whether it's a question, a challenge, or a fun fact. So basically you take a quiz and answer questions about your diet goals, your health, and your lifestyle and Care Of will recommend the right vitamins and supplements for you. You can take this quiz whenever your health goals change or your needs change as well. I especially needed to include fish oil into my daily routine because I don't consume fish on a regular basis. Omega-3 fatty acids help support a healthy heart and brain so I think it's it's super important to include it into your daily routine. All of the ingredients are backed by the latest science and research so you feel good about what you're putting into your body. These packs are made from a plant-based film so they're compostable. I've been really enjoying adding this to my coffees. This is the vanilla oat creamer collagen and this is the matcha flavor collagen. Try taking care of Squiz and see which vitamins and supplements they recommend for you and you can also click the link down below and use my code KeyAndChoy to get 50% off your first order with Care Of. Tonight's dinner is salmon fried rice. Mm. Eating it with kim is perfection. Cheers. I went to an event recently and in the goodie bag they had some cotton candy so I've been just eating some cotton candy. It's orange cream flavored and it actually tastes so good. I mean, it's like straight up just sugar. I feel like I shouldn't eat all of this. <laughs> just way too much. and brush my teeth every time so hopefully this will be it for today
Today's breakfast is some leftover salmon fried rice from last night, some champagne mango, and matcha. For lunch, I'm gonna make a breakfast quesadilla. I have spinach, green onion, mozzarella, two eggs, tortillas sriracha and I'm gonna use avocado oil. You can use butter but I just choose to use avocado oil. I have a lot of shiitake mushrooms so I'm just gonna add this in as well. Today's lunch is a breakfast quesadilla. I honestly eat this for dinner as well. <laughs> This is my first time adding mushrooms to it and it tastes even better. I usually just eat it with spinach and tomatoes. You can honestly just toss in anything that you have in your fridge in here and it'll still taste freaking amazing. I go through phases of repeating the same foods over and over again and I am in my quesadilla phase. Mm. So full. Ice cream time. Pink boy. It's apparently 95 calories. Mmm. Mm. It's Korean pear flavored. To wait for this to melt a little bit. I'm so full, but this is a perfect snack because it's basically just ice. I just had an orthodontist appointment and turns out that I don't have to wear my Invisalign during the daytime for the next six weeks because they have to rescan everything. I also went grocery shopping after my orthodontist appointment. I got this papaya. I probably can't eat this in this lot because it's not ripe yet, but I'm so excited to try it.
tonight's dinner is cabbage rolls. I had a lot of vegetables and some leftover rice in the fridge, so I thought I'd make these cabbage rolls. They're nice little one-biters. Today's breakfast is mangoes and Greek yogurt and collagen matcha. Another day, another quesadilla. I just got back from my tennis lesson and I'm so hungry. This is so good. I want to cook this for you guys and I want you guys to try it. <laughs> It's so bad for you, but I actually really enjoyed it. Alrighty, I'm done cutting up the veggies. I'm going to add these peeled chestnuts.
nice dinner is Kalbi Jim. I'm gonna try a chestnut first. I think kalbi jim is one of my favorite dishes to make. It seems like it's difficult, but it's actually super easy. It just takes a long time to cook, but it's definitely worth the wait. It tastes really good if you get some of the sauce, you put it over your rice, the mushroom too. Alrighty, we are ending this video with Tim Boy. Ugh, can never get this open with my hands. Okay, I just use scissors. Yay. Mmm. This is so refreshing to eat after kalbi jjim. Alrighty guys, I'm just gonna finish this and then just end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!